Good afternoon. I owe an apology to the people of Pennsylvania. A stunning political development tonight. State Treasurer Rob McCord is stepping down amid a federal investigation of his campaign financing. Tonight, a former U.S. attorney in Pittsburgh is reacting to the resignation and the way that McCord did it. Ralph Iannotti is live with more. Ralph. Well, thanks very much, Ken. 24 hours ago, Rob McCord said he would step aside in two weeks. Today, McCord said he was resigning immediately, and at the same time, he said he'll plead guilty to federal charges related to how he solicited campaign donations. So many of these people are already friends. It's kind of fun to see you running. For 55-year-old Democratic State Treasurer Rob McCord, investigators say the events which led to his resignation unfolded in 2013 when McCord was running in the Democratic primary for governor against Tom Wolf. First of all, job one for the next governor is to reverse these horrible cuts to education. McCord needed money to finance his uphill campaign after Wolf threw $10 million of his own money into the race. The Fed started looking into how McCord was going after donations, and they didn't like what they saw. In a video statement released by his lawyers Friday afternoon, McCord made a surprising admission. I essentially said that the potential contributors should not risk making an enemy of the state treasurer. Clearly, that was wrong. I was wrong. It was a mistake. I stand ready to pay the price for that mistake. I'm sure he's trying to get a break on a sentence. J. Allen Johnson is a former U.S. attorney in Pittsburgh. He says the video mea culpa released by McCord's lawyers was not out of the blue. They were ready. I mean, they didn't buy those cameras on the way over there. You know, they were ready and they know what they were going to do. I think it's probably under all the circumstances, probably a good move by his counsel to get him out front, have him accept responsibility and, uh, you know, say I'm willing to take whatever uh, penalty there is. Now, late this afternoon, Governor Tom Wolf released a statement. It said, in part, this was a sad day for the Commonwealth. The statement also said this type of behavior leads to the erosion of the public's trust and is unacceptable. He said, I'm firm in my commitment to restore the public's uh, to trust in their government. We're live tonight. I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.